this is the review of the 2019 Bragley Big AL29 bike. I've owned this bike since about April of 2019 and I've put quite a few miles on it already. Uh, typically about 14 to 20 miles a day on this rig. Seven days a week I ride it and it's perfect. Uh, the only problem I had with it was the rear tire which I got a pinch flat on and uh, believe it or not it took me about an hour to get the tire off and about an hour to try and get the tire back on the rim. So if anybody has a uh, solution to these wide tires getting them off and on please leave a comment because they are a pain these are the hoot lights i bought off amazon.com hoot h-o-o-o-t super bright very visible day or night uh less than 15 dollars for four of them two red ones two white ones uh, the color is grayish. I thought it was more of a steel blue, but it is gray. But it's a nice gray. You don't have to worry about wiping it off constantly because it gets dirty. Uh, gray is gray. You see a lot of people on the bike trails that are constantly wiping down their bikes every half mile. The RockShox Recon Fork got some reflective cut tape here. Um, I do a lot at night riding. Uh, the Recon 4 handles perfectly. Uh, 130 millimeters of travel is actually plenty unless you live in the Rockies and uh, you're doing some uh, major size jumps. Uh, this is the X Large one. The X Large fits perfect for anyone over six feet tall. Uh, I'd say up to about 6'6", six, six actually. Uh, works fine. The uh, Suntour Zuron crank set. Uh, handles beautifully. Uh, I know I got some cheap pedals. These are the standard pedals that came with the bike and uh, I actually like them. Uh, they are falling apart but uh, hey, I mean two, three hundred dollars for pedals is a little ridiculous. Uh, but for nine hundred forty dollars I gotta say this rig really does handle the trails very well. Uh, no dropper seat post. Dropper seat post to me is a waste of money. I owned a RockShox Reverb post and it broke within a month. Uh, especially in cold weather like uh, here in upstate New York. Um, regular seat post is fine and you're also saving money buying one without a dropper seat post. If you can afford a dropper seat post, be my guess and get it. The WTB uh, I-29 rims handle beautifully. They've taken some heavy hits, and they're still true. Uh, haven't had to do any maintenance work on the rims yet. Uh, I am planning on getting a pair of Spank Uzi rims, but at a later date. Uh, the SRAM disc brakes hydraulic handle perfectly. Uh, the Trail Boss 2.4 tire in the rear and the WTB Vigilante 2.5 tire in the front handle perfectly, especially in sand and believe it or not, in mud. To me, tires any wider than 2.5 really do not handle very good in muddy conditions. Uh, so if you're interested in a hardtail bike, that's going to be no any maintenance, take a look at the Ragley brand of bikes. Uh, I think you'll be really impressed. Thank you very much, and uh, please enjoy riding.